hi guys and welcome to vlogmas day seven um i have an older video that i filmed approximately like five months ago um for you today so i hope you enjoy this makeup declutter that i filmed in august so um i will let Kristen from the past take it away hi everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new hi i'm Kristen, and if you're not new thank you so much for joining me for another video so today we're gonna do something a lot different um we're not gonna be talking about books we're going to be decluttering all of my makeup now i am not a beauty guru i am not someone you need to take advice from on what to do for makeup but I have a lot of it not a lot I have a decent amount of makeup for someone that wears makeup once a week maybe I have a lot and I need to get rid of a lot of it a lot of it's old a lot of it's like old boxy charm stuff so we're gonna go through it today get rid of a lot of it all of it will be either thrown away or gifted to friends and family depending on how old it is most of it's probably gonna be thrown away because most of it is probably at least three to four years old so we're going to head into my um closet because that is currently where all my makeup is um, i have this little section here this is where all of my stuff is in my closet um, i'm gonna turn it around it's it's very messy very messy um because <laughs> It's very messy because I don't ever do my makeup in here really anymore. Um, so I don't keep it clean. I just like take what I need and like put it in a box or like put it in a bin and take it to the bathroom and do my makeup and then bring it back. It is a mess. Nothing is really organized, but we're going to go through my drawers. I'm just going to kind of like show you them real quick. I'm going to pull everything, lay it out on the floor and we'll go from there. Um, so let's go ahead and get started my little vanity i have all of my beautiful clean brushes over here which need to be cleaned that is definitely um a must um, and then i have this drawer this drawer this is a disaster <laughs> this drawer this drawer is broken um this is just junk this drawer this drawer and then some lashes. So that is all. It's just those. I have all my makeup bags in the middle here. Um, I don't think I'm going to be decluttering any brushes. Um, I might actually go through like, I might declutter some of like these face brushes and stuff because I honestly do not, honestly don't use anything that's not my bling brushes. So we might declutter some of these. I definitely have some friends that could use these. Um, but we're going to pull everything and get started. Okay, I know this is kind of an odd angle, but this is what we have to work with. This is all of my makeup. Now, granted, like I said, most of this is probably going in the trash but we're gonna start with some stuff that I know that I can keep like this um glam light mimosa highlighter this is fairly new absolutely beautiful we will be keeping that and then the also the pina colada one which is probably my favorite and I just laid down this like old beach towel but we're gonna go through all my non eyeshadow or base palettes first and then we'll go through those after um and then we have pina colada by glam light this as you can tell is very well loved this is probably one of my favorite highlighters at the moment um we are definitely going to be keeping all of my jaclyn cosmetic stuff these are the um like loose glitters that she had this um what are they called loose glimmer powders so i have the where are the other ones there's one 
Where's the last one? Hello? There's another one here somewhere. I literally just dumped these. But these are um, from her first collection that she did since she relaunched the Valentine's Day collection. Um, I guess which was probably 2020. 2020. But I'm keeping these. I don't think that I've ever really used them. But we're still going to keep them. Um, and then we have my Jaclyn highlighters. This is Twinkle. And this is... This is Flurries. This is also from that Valentine's Day collection. So these are both staying. My very dirty Beauty Blender foundation. Um, we're going to keep. This is in the shade 2.4 in. Like I said, it is very dirty. But we're going to keep this. I got this actually at TJ Maxx. But I really, really like this foundation. This Boy Beauty foundation does not match me this is not this is not the right shade this doesn't match me so this is going to be decluttered same goes for um this pretty fresh this looks like two different shades does this not look like two different shades to you they're both fair for in so i think something was mislabeled there's no way that these are both fair for in um so i think i'm i don't i'm not sure what to do here because this is obviously not the same foundation color. Right? Let me look. That's not the same. Nowhere near the same. But they're both like what is fair for in. Do you see this? Fair for in. Fair for in. Um, I'm going to keep the darker one and declutter the lighter one. Because this is way too light for my skin. So I'll declutter this one, keep this one, and try to figure out which one is actually fair for in. I'm just kind of grabbing. I'm not even going in any specific order. This NARS foundation is literally probably my favorite foundation. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This stuff is incredible. Incredible. So I definitely will be keeping that. This pretty fresh ColourPop Hy Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation um, this is in light 33C. This is way too light for me. So I will also be decluttering this. I have a really sh hard time with the fact that my face color is a lot different than my neck color. So if I buy a foundation and match it to my face, it doesn't work ever. So I have a lot of foundations that are way too light for me. So this is also going somewhere else. Um, my Rare Beauty Foundation. I love this foundation. I do need a darker shade, but for now, I will be keeping this. This is hair care. I don't know how it ended up over here. Let's try to get through the rest of my foundations while I'm on this topic. This Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. I'm not sure about. It's so thick. Like, so thick. That is insane. It does not smell good, so this is going to be decluttered. I'm pretty sure it's just way too old. Okay, any more foundations? I don't see any more foundations off hand. Um, we'll do primer. I have this hard candy primer. This just, I do not like it, so therefore it will be decluttered. Oh, here's another foundation. This is way too light for me. So, again... This Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation is just going to go in the trash because it's old and it also does not work for me. Uh, my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealers, these are fairly new. I will definitely be keeping these. I really enjoy these. I have it in um, I have the shades 3 and 4.5. My Bliss sunscreen will definitely be keeping all of my professionals I have the hydrating the regular also have the matte somewhere here's minis of the light in the regular um I'm gonna be keeping all of these because I really enjoyed this primer so I'm gonna be keeping all of these this Laura Mercier uh pure canvas hydrating primer I will definitely be keeping the Snow Pore Bloom Prime Essence will be decluttered. This is just really old, along with also the Snow Pore Bloom 
smooth and pore covering primer will also be decluttered. This Glow Ahead Wander Beauty um, Illuminating Face Oil is also going to be decluttered. This exploded um, not too long ago, so it is a literal disaster. So this is going in the trash. This ColourPop Pure Fresh Hyal Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer is um, going to be decluttered because it just does it does not look right. Therefore, it is old. I haven't used this in a very long time. So, I will just pick up a new one because this one's definitely old. Moving on. What should we grab next? Um, All of these Benefit Minis. I have a bunch of them. So, I have um, Hula Light, Regular Hula, Dandelion Twinkle, Regular Dandelion, and Dream Rush. So, um... Hula is one of my favorite bronzers. It is very well loved. Um, I really just need to get a new one, but for now I'm going to keep this. This Hula Light is just too light for me, in my opinion. I just feel like I have to really work for it to get it to show up on my skin, so I'm going to be decluttering this. The Standalone Twinkle uh, Highlighter, I just don't ever wear this. So maybe I need to try. Maybe I need to try to use this. Um, so I'll I'll keep this the dandelion twinkle. This regular dandelion, um, I'm going to declutter. I just like literally I don't think I've ever used this. I don't I don't think I've ever used it. Therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead declutter this. And then the Dream Rush, um, Blush, uh, it's sparkly, and I'm not crazy about sparkly blush, so I'll also be decluttering this. This um, Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop, this is in the color Monster. I don't ever use this, but that's really pretty. So maybe I should. Maybe I should keep this and use this. <laughs> so I think I will. I will keep and use this. Um, all of these, like, Wet n Wild... Um, highlighters and blushes. Is this all of them? This is all the ones that I can see. Oh, there's that Jaclyn. My last, uh, Jaclyn Loose Glimmer Powder. This is, so that will be kept. But yeah, keeping that. All of these are very old. So these are all going to be decluttered. I just don't want to use them because they're at least three years old. And I don't want to put that on my face. So... All of these are going to be decluttered. This um, Ciate London. It's a marbled light ha in the color Halo. This is something I got in like a boxy charm. I don't think I ever used it. It is also going to be decluttered. This Milani blush in the shade Tea Rose is very pretty. I absolutely love this blush. So, I will definitely be keeping this. Milani has really great blushes. And I have the Milani Baked Powder Brush and the Blush Blush Brush Blush in um, Dulce Pink. So, I will also be keeping this one. This Too Faced... Um, Canary Diamond. I don't even know what the, is this a highlighter? Yeah. This I am never going to use this pink gold shift highlighter. I think I got this in a boxy charm and it takes up a lot of space, so therefore I'm just going to get rid of it. This Milk Makeup holo holographic stick in the color Supernova. Um I, I don't think I've ever used this. Like what am I supposed to, that's so pretty. What am I ever going to need purple, like, uh, when am I ever going to need this? A Harry Styles concert, that might be when I need this. I'm going to keep it for now. Just for, solely for the fact that I might take it to New York with me and use it for the Harry Styles concert. Because it's really pretty. It's, it's, it's really pretty. So I'll keep it. Correct. 
It's my life. I can do what I want. Um, this Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. This is so old and just needs to go. Um, this Artist Couture Summer Haze Diamond Glow Powder. I'm not even going to open it because it's a powder. And it's going to get literally everywhere. This is going to be decluttered. It's old. This Iconic London um, Eyebrow Cushion Set. I don't think I've ever used. I will never use. It's, it's still sealed. But I don't. I have pretty defined brows already. And I think that someone else could get use out of this that I could not. I don't need anything like this. This is literally pretty much empty. It's a La Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to be decluttering this along with this Becca um, Hydra Mist setting powder. Um, this cap will not go on straight. There we go. Nope, still not on straight. I give up. It's going in the trash because it's old. Along with this Everyday Vacay Ciate London one. Coconut setting powder. Um, this is also just going to go... Oh, another Touch and Soul primer. BoxyCharm really loved just sending us these primers. Ah, this is, I'm telling you, I'll use like five or six of these products and then the rest I don't ever touch. So that's why we needed to declutter. This is old. It's going in the trash. Um, I will be keeping my very dirty Fenty Beauty um, loose setting powder shade butter um i will be keeping this i love this this just needs to be cleaned up a little bit this is a really good setting powder though this is my only setting powder though so if you have a setting powder that you love let me know in the comments because i don't have a clue as to what i want to get to use when i don't want to use this this is a juvia's place blush i'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this because i don't want to butcher it um seraphina this is stunning i'm definitely going to be keeping this i don't know if it's going to work for my skin tone and i don't think i've ever used it so we're going to use this try it out see what we think if we don't like it after i try it then we will get rid of it um we had a lot of lippies um so we're almost done with everything that's not lippies so we'll save lippies to last this ofra cosmetics all of the lights highlighter i literally just got this is such a a beautiful highlighter. This came in the Allie Dawson X Ofra bundle, so I will 100% be keeping this. This Max Fix Plus is broken. Um, it doesn't, it like sprays like it's gonna shoot you in the face, so I don't like that it does that. I love this setting spray, but I cannot keep it because it's literally impossible to use. So, it goes over here in the declutter pile. I'm honestly going to declutter both of these because they're both really old. This Iconic London one is so pretty, but I'm not going to use it. And same with this Skin Co. Um, Radiant Dew um, Refresh Mist. They're both old. I don't know where the cap is to this one. So we're going to declutter both of these along with this empty... Morphe and Jeffree Star best. It, it barely has anything in it. I love Morphe's Continuous Setting Mist. Um, but this is literally like, it's empty. So, I just need to get a new one. Um, and also, you're going to see me get rid of a lot of Jeffree Star stuff. All of my Jeffree Star stuff, really. Um, because I do not support his brand anymore. So, I'm going to be get rid of, of all, getting rid of all of my stuff. I will be keeping my e.l.f. Um, dewy coconut setting mist and my professional super setter setting mist. Um, this little sample, I really like this. So, I will be keeping this. And also, I don't know where the lid is to this because I lose everything. These are the Hocus Pocus Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel from the ColourPop collab. I love Hocus Pocus. I'm very excited about the new movie. Um, so I'll be keeping both of these with my little Thackeray Binks on the front of them. This Velour Lip Scrub by Jeffree Star is going in the trash. This is really old. Even if I still supported Jeffree, uh, this would be going in the trash. Because, like I said, 
very old. Let's just go ahead and pull all of this stuff because I don't have a ton of it, but I have enough. This is just all, this is all going to go. I have the liquid lipstick in the color I'm nude. This is in Bronze Blood, I think is what it says. This is his collab with Morphe. Um, this is Star Crown. This is his collab with Shane Dawson. Um, both of these are. This is Ryland and Are You Filming? This one um, evidently leaked. But this is Posh Spice, Leo, and the lipstick in Celebrity Skin. So all of this is going to go. It's all old. It just needs to not exist in my presence anymore. I am going to be keeping all of my Potassium Cosmetics lip glosses. There is quite a few of them. I have all of my Just Juicy. These are Potassium Cosmetics Just Juicy samples because <laughs> Carolina sent them to me before she made these. All of my Just Juicies are going to stay. All of these are Potassium Cosmetics, so these will also stay. Oh, here is another Jeffree Star liquid lip in the shade I Gotta from the Shane Dawson collab. Tell me if you remember when Lip Sense came out because this is extremely old. I think there's a red one here somewhere too. There was a red. There it is. Does anybody remember this? <laughs> this is just needs to go in the trash. Another Potassium Cosmetics lip gloss. This e.l.f. Sheer Matte Liquid Lip is in a really pretty color. It is in Praline Petal. But it's really old and it's kind of dark for me. So I'm going to be getting rid of this. Um, same with this Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, this came in a boxy charm and I was very excited because I love me some Pirates of the Caribbean. But it is like a lipstick on one side and a lip gloss on the other. This is just so old. There's no way I'm putting this on my mouth. This Stila, as you can see, Shimmering Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow is separated. Um, this is just very old. Um, and honestly... I will never use it. So this is also going in the trash. Um, this is just like a, it's one of those like scrubby things, lip balms, uh, and it is very old. So it is going in the trash. This Carity Lip Lock, uh, liquid lip was actually really good. I really enjoyed this liquid lip. I thought it was really good. It wasn't extremely drying. It's very old. Same goes with the Lolita KVD liquid lip um beautiful color but it's just old this um steve laurent lip gloss in champagne old urban decay vice liquid lipstick um in big bang i will never wear this but it's also old i don't even know what brand this is i have no idea where this this might have been like my mom's and it just like ended up in my crap so this is also old this is where, do you see all the pink on all of this stuff? This is where um, my daughter decided she wanted to play in my makeup. And she got into this red lipstick. Do you see this? And it was everywhere. So just old. Same goes for this Dose of Colors um, Date Night Liquid Lip. This is a really pretty red it literally gets everywhere. It's impossible to not move your mouth long enough for it to dry. This Dose of Colors um, Lazy Daisy liquid lip is really pretty, but it's starting to separate, so I'm also going to get rid of this. Both of these Kylie Jenner ones, we have the Kylie Gloss in Coco K and the Matte Liquid Lipstick in Exposed. This is the old packaging. This is the old formula. Therefore, I'm going to get rid of it. My Jaclyn Cosmetics Red Liquid Lips from her Valentine's Day launch, I'm actually going to keep. So, I'll be keeping those and the um, Glitter Gloss in 24 Karat. Um, I really want to get some more Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Lips. I only have these three and I really need some more. When I go to buy new stuff to replace all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of, 
Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Lips is top of my list of things to get. This Kylie liner goes with the exposed matte liquid lip that I threw away. This Wet n Wild lipstick is going to go in the trash along with this one. Getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. We've only got this much left. This is just tools. I don't know why they're in here, but they're going to be staying. This is just cold sore treatment, so I'm not sure why it's in here. This Tarte Shape Tape um, is pretty much empty, but also I like my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer a lot better than this. So this is going in the trash. This Ofra um, Havana Nights Liquid Lipstick, it has the same issue that this Dose of Colors one does, where it's just, it's so dark that it's almost impossible to get it to dry. It's also really old, so it's kind of dried out. And I think it might have been a little dried out when I got it from BoxyCharm. But I'm going to toss this. I do want to get some more over liquid lips. I want to get some more over everything. The collab of Allie's was the first over products that I like personally bought. But um, this liquid lip came in um, a boxy. But I really want to get some more of this. I'm very impressed with the quality of their products. So... Ofra is definitely something that I want to check out again. We have this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Eyeshadow Primer Liquid thing. Um, I'm never going to use this. Never. Like, this is, you're never going to see me wear this. This One Smart Cookie Brown, Brownie Points um, ColourPop Mascara. I will be keeping. This is fairly new, and I really like this mascara on, like, my no makeup makeup days where I'm just, like, walking out the house, and I just want to throw on a brow and some mascara this is what i use this Too Faced better than sex mascara is very old so this needs to go in the trash along with this voluminous carbon black mascara by l'oreal um i really like this mascara so i'm definitely going to be buying a new one if this one's just expired this unique mood struck epic mascara is extremely old and needed to be thrown away a very long time ago so this is going in the trash now. This lip gloss um, is expired. It is old, but a really sweet friend gave it to me that is currently no longer with us. So I'm just going to put this in a safe place because I'm super sentimental as a human. So this is going to stay. It's not going to be decluttered, but it has a good reason to stay. The Fenty Heat uh, Hot Cherry Lip Gloss. I love this stuff. I love it so much. It is... Um, fantastic definitely want to get some more of these i think they have new colors in the heat so i definitely want to try those um i love a plumping lip gloss and this one does fantastic um so i will definitely be keeping this the clear brow gel from anastasia beverly hill to be 100 percent honest i hate it so i've pretty much used all of this one up like it's it's dry but i will 100 percent not be repurchasing that um, I switched to the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit and I love this so much more. I just feel like this one, the Anastasia one, I could never get like enough product. Um, so this one is going to be decluttered and I will be keeping my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. My Laneige lip sleeping mask is fantastic. I absolutely love these. So I will definitely be keeping this. Um, my two uh, gel liners from ColourPop, the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection, I will be keeping this very old <laughs> Wet n Wild Mega Last retractable eyeliner. I will be throwing away. It is just so old. The Joa Airlite lipstick. This is in Jet Setter. This is like the only lipstick I have. So I guess I'll keep it because it's a nice color and I don't I literally don't own another bullet lipstick. The Prestige My Biggest Slash Mascara is old. I will be getting rid of this. This Melted Matte Metallic by Too Faced Liquid Matte Lipstick. Um, it's a really pretty color, but it's old. So is this Alamar Cosmetics um, Lip Gloss. It is old. I don't even know. This is the Mother of Pearl Gloss. I don't even know if half of these companies still have these colors. The Wet n Wild Taffy Tantrum, I think this is a liquid lip. Um, I'm going to throw this away because I'm never going to wear this hot pink color. Um, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Taupe. This is my favorite brow pencil and I will forever just buy this one. I do want to try the Benefit one though, um, but this one is fantastic. I absolutely love it. This is the NYX um, Eye Ink Liner. 
I have a lot of just random um, black liquid liners. And if you have ever had BoxyCharm, you know that it's just, hey, here's another liquid liner. So, um, we're going to just, oh, that one's brown. Okay, that one's brown. Okay, we're just going to test all these. That one's nice. And then this is the infamous Kat Von D tattoo liner. Uh, okay, we'll keep this NYX eye ink liner. I think I bought this pretty recently. So we will definitely be keeping this along with this color girl one. This color girl one I definitely bought recently. Um, this is just another brown liquid liner. Um, I'm going to keep both of these. As for these... Honestly, the tattoo one is not as black. And then this one, as you can see, is like fading into like the cracks in my hand. I think I'm going to get rid of all of them and try to find a new one that I like. Because this this one like looks weird. The Smashbox one like leaks into my like, it like seeps into like the lines in my hand. And then the tattoo liner is just not very black so I'm going to declutter all of these oh I found another one <laughs> the Joa lineup liquid eyeliner and it kind of like took a little bit to get it to I feel like I'm almost having to paint to get it to show up so we're gonna get rid of this one too <laughs> this was a bad idea why did y'all let me do this to my hand good to go now um this is also like a liquid liner that I got um, in a potassium cosmetics package. Obviously, I've never opened it. Hello? Oh, you just popped the cap off. I'm sitting here trying to spin it. Um, this is one that I got for free in a potassium cosmetics package. Um, and 100% honestly, it's better than any of the ones that I just tried. So, I will keep one and I will... Give one to a friend. Um, this Becca Vanilla Quartz highlighter um, is beautiful, but it's very old. Therefore, we are going to declutter it. This Pretty Vulgar Bronzed Bee um, bronzer is stunning. It's such a pretty bronzer, but it's really old, and we're going to declutter it. I'm going to have to buy, like, an entire new face of makeup, really. <laughs> Um, this Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara I'm going to keep. This Milk Makeup Kush Mascara I'm going to declutter because it's like eight months old. So it's a little past expiration. But I really, really like this. I think this is like my second tube of this. And I'm going to buy it again. The mini works better than the big one with this uh, mascara. So just a heads up, buy the mini. This Becca Bullet Lipstick is just way too dark. I'm never going to wear this. This Burt's Bees Lip Gloss. I don't know where this came from or how old it is, so we're just going to get rid of it. We have a Appeal Gel Liner. It's a pencil. I'm not going to use that. This is a Starlux Retractable Brown Liner, and it's broken, so we're going to get rid of that. This green Bodyography Liner is really pretty, but it's like more blue than it is green. So we're going to get rid of all three of these. Um, this is just some random, like, free gift I got recently with, like, a purchase, um, from a small company, and it's a lemon mint lip balm. Um, I'm honestly probably not going to use it, so I'll give it to a friend. This Urban Decay eyeshadow primer portion, I just really don't like. I really want to get a, a MAC paint pot, so we're going to get rid of this. This is a... Rooted Beauty Restorative Lip Treatment. Um, if I use a lip treatment, it's just going to be my, my Laneige. So, I will give this to somebody else. This KKW Beauty um, Lip Liner in Nude Zero, I will keep. This Becca Lip Liner, however, is liter it's literally just empty. So, this is going in the trash. Um, I have this ColourPop Single Shadow in Super Stock Shadow and this Color Lightning Bug. This is so pretty. So I will be keeping it. Um, both of these Buxom 
of plumping lip glosses. This is Holiday and Eve. This was part of their Christmas collection, I think. Um, I will be keeping both of these. I really like these lip glosses. This is um, a L'Oreal Infallible Single Shadow. Um, I really like this press thing that they have on theirs, but um, I'm not really going to use it. So I think I have like this color in pa plenty of palettes, so I'm not going to keep this. This Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara was fantastic. I really liked it, but it's old. Um, but I would be interesting in repur interested in repurchasing it. This is a nude stick. Who makes this? Nude stick? I guess that's the brand. In copper foil. I'm not going to use this. Um, and then this is a Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Shadow. This is separating and very old. So I'm going to get rid of it as well. Okay, that was all of my stuff that is not face or eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to go grab all of my face and eyeshadow palettes really quick and I will be back. Okay, this is a lot. It's crazy to see it like all sitting here because this is a lot. I love eyeshadow palettes. We're going to try to be mean and get rid of a lot. I don't know how well I'm going to do, but we're going to try. So we're going to tr we're going to try to be cutthroat. I feel like we can be very cutthroat with my face palettes, my eyeshadow palettes probably not so much. I feel like it's the thing that I buy the most. So there's probably going to be a lot that I keep. So let's go through all of this because this is a lot. Um first off, right on top here, we are definitely I'm definitely keeping my Kaleidos. Um these are <laughs> stunning this is the futurism one we have the futurism two the futurism three one of these has a broken shadow and i'm not sure which one it is so pretty um the futurism six i know that's the one with the broken shadow but still so pretty so we will be keeping all the oh here's my futurism five stunning so pretty I love these so much. So I'll definitely be keeping all of those. We also have my um, Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. This is no longer available, I don't think, but stunning. If you haven't checked out Kaleidos, their eyeshadows are so pretty. Um, I definitely want to get me some Kaleidos um, highlighters because I don't have any. Then we have my beautiful new... Allie Dawson X Ofra palette. She did this as a bundle with Ofra. She chose all of these colors herself. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. Such a pretty palette. So pretty. I'm so proud of Allie and I will definitely be keeping my beautiful new Ofra palette. We have the Glamlight Veggie Lovers palette. I actually got this at um, TJ Maxx. So um, I will definitely be keeping this. This is the only Glamlight palette I have. The Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I've hardly used, but I'm not going to keep this. The Warrior Tube by Juvia's Place is absolutely stunning. If I want like a quick, just nude look, this is usually the palette that I gravitate towards. This or my um, Laura Lee Nudie Number no. 2 palette. So I will definitely be keeping my Warrior Tube palette by Juvia's Place. Um, also by Juvia's Place, I have... The Berries palette and the Violets palette. So I'll be keeping both of these. I feel like I'm page corn right now being like, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to get rid of this one. And there's another Juvia's Place. So we have the Warrior and the Warrior 2 I'm going to keep. I love Juvia's Place. If you don't have anything by Juvia's Place, I highly suggest anything of theirs. Um, let's go ahead and go through my Laura Lee palettes. We have the Boss Babe palette and the Party Animal palette. Oh, wow. That one's broken. Um, I'm going to keep both of these. I can just get that one pressed back in there real good. Um, I have Nudie Patootie, which is stunning, and the Nudie Number 2 palette. I'm going to keep all of these. Um, this Tarte Face Palette, or eyeshadow palette, is this a face or I think it's both. 
face shaping palette uh, the clay palette i'm going to get rid of i never use this like never ever use this um this becca this is covered in makeup from where my daughter got into it um this becca highlighting palette or eyeshadow palette um this is the pearl glow shimmering eye palette i'm just gonna get rid of it's gorgeous it has some really pretty colors but i just don't ever grab it so therefore i'm gonna see if someone let's see if we can clean this up with my makeup eraser i'm gonna see if someone that i know can get more use out of it than me my very expensive conspiracy palette i was so excited when this was announced and when this came out i was so freaking excited about this and then the mini one as well um but i don't use it i don't use any of my jeffree star stuff so i'm going to be getting rid of this as much as it, it literally hurts my heart i'm going to get rid of it um the abh norvina collection palettes i have this is volume one and this is volume two. So I have both of these. If I can get it open. Um, they're both really, really pretty. Um, there's a lot of pops of color in here that I don't have in a lot of my palettes. So I'll be keeping both of these. Um, this little e.l.f. contour palette, I used a lot. Um, this was like one of the first contour palettes I ever bought. Um, so there's no telling how old this is, but we're going to get rid of it. This is the Morphe 35H Artistry Palette. I just feel like I have other palettes that I gravitate towards, so I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I love Morphe and I love their shadows, but I just have other ones that I use more. So I will be getting rid of this one. Um, speaking of the ones I use more, this is my <laughs> Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Palette, which is very well loved, as you can tell. Um, it's probably time for me to grab a new one, um, but for now I'm going to hang on to this until I grab a new one, and then we also have the Volume 2 palette. I only have these. I don't have any of the, um, Vault collection, but I do have these, and the pinks and purples in this are to die for. Um, and then I also have the Divine Neutrals collab with Jacqueline. I love Jacqueline Hill, if you couldn't tell. She's the reason that I know one of my best friends so thanks Jacqueline um but I will be keeping all of my Jacqueline Hill palettes um this 35 bronze goals palette by Morphe is really pretty but it's old uh this is probably at least three to four years old probably older I don't remember when this came out but it was forever ago um and I just feel like I have all of these colors I, this is not the Morphe palette I gravitate towards I always grab one of my Jaclyn Hill palettes, so I'm going to pass this along to someone else. My Morphe and James Charles palette, I have the mini version. Um, I'm going to keep this solely because of the color in it. Um, it has a really good red, and I feel like I use it this palette a lot around Halloween when I'm doing my makeup for that, so I'm going to keep it solely for that reason. Um, my Morphe X Jeffree Star palette, I don't think I've ever touched. I honestly don't think I've ever used this, so I will pass this along for sure. This Choose Love Highlighter Palette from Color Story, I'm going to keep because my best friend Samantha asked me, this was in my box when she asked me to be her maid of honor in her wedding, so I'm going to keep this because of the sentimental reasons behind it. This Cover Effects um, Face Palette, this is actually a really nice face palette. Um... And I use it sometimes, but I think I want to get some new stuff. So I'm going to pass this along. It is filthy. Um, I have the Frozen 2 collab with ColourPop. This is the Elsa and the Anna palette. The Elsa and the Anna palette. Um, I'm going to keep both of these. If I ever, my daughter playing makeup, this is what I let her play with. So that is the reason I have them and the reason, I well, I mean, I would have bought them anyway. They're Disney and they're ColourPop. But that's what these are in here for. Um, this is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette, which I've already told you. I'm keeping everything in this collection that I have. I absolutely love Hocus Pocus. 
Um, oh, I lied. I have another Glam Light palette. This is the Chocolate Martini palette, which is stunning and I will definitely be keeping. Listen, y'all. I have two Pat McGrath palettes. This is the um, Mothership Sublime palette. It is, I mean, just the packaging alone. But that, those colors, there's only one matte and five shimmers. This is stunning. I will definitely be keeping this probably until the day I die. Um, and this is the Mothership Subversive palette. Absolutely stunning purples and a pop of pink. Um, I really like purple eyeshadow. So, you're definitely going to be keeping my Pat McGrath palettes. This is the Shade and Light Eye Palette by um, KVD. Um, I'm going to declutter this, pass this on to someone else. This Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio is really pretty. And I do use it sometimes, but I... Just, it's a little too orange for me. For me, I like a more like pinky rosy blush for the most most of the time. Um, so I'm going to declutter this. Same with this Wonder Beauty Trip for Two um, face palette. This is a brush blush and bronzer duo, and this is just this bronzer is way too light for me. And um, this blush is very beautiful, but I feel like it's very kind of close it's kind of close to this milani blush so i'm going to keep this milani blush instead and de declutter this i have the glazed and the bronze lip um highlighter palettes by laura lee los angeles this one is broken very badly um so i'm going to clean this up and keep this because this diamonds color is absolutely stunning so i'm going to clean this up. Um, yeah, but I was just going to get rid of this rose all day color all together. Um, and then I'll be able to use diamonds and hopefully glow gal. This bronze one, um, I'm going to keep. It is stunning. Um, I can get use out of at least both of these colors and then I can use these for eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep both of these and fix my glazed one. Um, this Marc Jacobs, uh, Tantastic Glow Omega X3 palette I just bought recently at TJ Maxx, and I definitely want to keep this. This Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette, um, is really, really pretty, but I never use it. Never. So, I'm going to declutter it. This Ace Butte, uh, Butte. I can't, I don't know how, if it's Beauty or Beauty, I think it's Beauty, Ace Beauty. Vintage Dawn palette is so pretty, so I will definitely be keeping this. I love green eyeshadow, and it's hard to find good green eyeshadow, and this one's a really pretty one. So I'm going to keep this. So I have two of these Storybook Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. I have the Briar Rose eyeshadow palette, and also the Burn Book eyeshadow palette. I love this silver color. I'm going to keep both of these just for the aesthetic of them sitting on my shelf because I love reading and these are beautiful. I have this other um, Morphe palette. This is the 15D Day Slayer. Um, this is a great palette to take while traveling if you want something small. So I'll definitely be keeping this. All right, we're down to the last few. Um, we have the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sec Smoke sessions palette i'm going to be keeping this like i said i love green eyeshadow i think it looks really pretty with my eyes we have the subculture and the riviera palette um i hunted these down when when they decided to like i looked every week at my tj maxx and marshall's to try to buy these eyeshadow palettes and i hardly ever use them but I just feel like I have to keep them. I feel like I have to. So both of these are going to stay. Um, this Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit thing, I'm just going to get rid of. I never use any of these highlighters. Um, this Tardis Pro Glow palette, just going to declutter. I don't use this. Um, 
and I've had it for a really long time and I just never gravitate toward it. And then the CoverGirl chocolate scented um, eyeshadow palette. This is cute, but like I, I never use this. So this can go to someone else. God, that smells so good. <laughs> Um, and then last two, we have the Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna palette. This is so pretty. Like, look at those colors. Definitely keeping this. I've only used it a couple times. Um, and then the Butter London Natural Goddess palette. I am going to declutter. We've gone through every piece of makeup that I own. I'd say that I probably got rid of close to half of my makeup if I counted by thing but I mean I kept a lot of eyeshadow palettes but I got rid of a lot of other makeup um which I'm super excited about I hope you enjoyed this video this is very different content for me I've never done anything like this on my channel um but if you did like this video um then make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite makeup item is at the moment because I'm gonna need some new stuff. So um, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.